Teen juniors and seniors in Austin as they graduate from a seven week long summer camp. And not the kind of summer camp, though, with hiking and stuff like that. It's a bit different. It's all centered around computers. And Alicia Inns shows us how these new graduates may be answering a national need because they're women. In a career that's dominated by men. This is our first time ever doing it. There's something to be said about girl power. I never thought I'd be able to design a website, but I have. It's one thing to browse a website. It's another to build one. But these girls, the girls who code, are up to the challenge. We were joking around about how we wanted to take a nap. And then the idea popped up like, hey, we should make a nap website. And from there, it became a real idea with a real product to help sleep deprived college students. Taking a nap for 20 minutes, you'll be energized, refreshed. It's easy to wake up from. But 30 minutes leaves you groggy. Behind it all is finding the formula to keep girls interested in STEM subjects from science and technology to engineering and math. We should be able to just say, oh, look, there's a girl who codes, that's normal. Right now, women make up the majority of the workforce nationwide, but only 25% of them have jobs in computing and technology. By 2020, there will be 1.4 million jobs available in these fields, but women are on track to only fill 3% of those. And it's crucially important because their voices and perspectives are missing right now. They need to recognize that there are no limitations. Proof that girls should not merely be part of the future. They should help shape it. You can do it, yes. Alicia Inns. Yeah. KXNN News.